Too. No, but it's important for a stylist to know how to do bridal hair because that's, that's where you make more money. money. Yes. Every weekend you'll be cashing out like in makeup artists. Mm -hmm. and you, be, you know makeup artists, they cash out a lot for one makeup. Mm -hmm. Makeup that they'll clean in the, the night. What I usually do is, um, we have a book. We call it shop book. Okay. We have sales book and shop book. Okay. So for the sales book is for those things that they make with their hands. That's of um, rendering services. Okay. That's for the sales book. Therefore, the shop book is for the products. What we say, the attachments, um, hair cream, and then other things. So we just list everything down, and then the amount. Of so the everything things. you have is recorded. Everything you sell. Yes, is exactly. Yeah. My channel. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? We for we we are doing today, you guys. You already know I am Onyinye Okeke, and this is Cheese Diary. The first time coming here, yeah. and we met here on YouTube, and we have been vibing. We're we'll talking this this morning. Plenty questions, plenty gist. You guys, you won't understand how excited I was when I was sending her a DM on Instagram. Right, I was just hoping. I said, God, did I even reply? And then she said, yes, we can collab. Just tell me the topic. Guys, you need to see how excited I was. So I'm also excited. <laughs> <laughs> I've opened the door for some of you small YouTubers that are scared. Don't be scared. And you can come for less the collaborations. Even me, I want to collaborate with so many people. So you can just leave a comment in the comment section if you want to collaborate with me. But I cannot travel to other places with collaborations. So is it that you come? You can do that. Uh, I think we'll do something like that. But you pick a topic. Mm -hmm. You pick a topic somewhere else, I pick a topic somewhere else. And then we'll just do yeah, a video. Together. No, not edit. We'll upload the same thing. Uh -huh. We'll do a video. Video, upload it and then at the end I'll say check, okay, check out the rest of the yes oh, okay. so we'll do like a similar video but different opinion let's say the both of us are hairstylists mm -hmm. I say let's do um, a sew in hair without a closure you do a different version okay, like a different okay, style okay, but okay, the same okay. sew in without the closure I also do the same then I'll say for more or you want to learn other styles so guys I'm opening the door for you people small yes, YouTuber okay. start coming come 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 come, come. this is come, our year come. 20 so guys, I know I, I fit in in this video. Okay. I have always watched your channel from 2016. Like when I stay my my salon, mm -hmm. when I had clients that would come and tell me, oh, I want to make this style, and because I didn't learn how to make hair in the salon, I just started braiding growing up. Okay. So I would just panic and I'll be like, tell me beforehand, then I'll go on YouTube. Whenever you type <coughs> hair styling Nigeria, one of your videos must pop up. So I'll just check for the style. And that's where I learned. So I know that many hairstylists in Nigeria have so learned a lot from your channel. Oh, really? So guys, I am oh, representing really? all of you small, small, all of you that used to come here and copy. Oh, you are not small, now. don't you have like about 20,000 subscribers? Guys, forget, forget, ah, you are not small, you are a YouTuber, you are a big YouTuber, you are not small at all. So, I know some of you have questions. Mm -hmm. First of all, eh, I want to encourage people to stop watching and not commenting. People that will watch, they won't thumbs up, they won't comment. So, you won't even know they exist. That was yeah. how, let me just give you guys a small secret. That was how I made her notice me. By just commenting, like being exactly. engaging in her content. Exactly. That's how I first start to notice me because she replies her comments, so she has to like see them. Yeah, I actually <laughs> noticed that before she DM'd me yeah. about two days ago. So I'm yes. Mm-hmm. Hairstylist, I'm going to be asking her questions that other hairstylists might be interested in knowing, especially if you just want to know what goes on in other parts of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can relate. So I'm going to just ask her some questions. Okay. The very first question is, what should you have in mind before starting this salon? First of all, I think you should make sure that you get your capital. That's the most important thing. And then get a good location. A very good location is very, very important. And after that, um, you should also have at the back of your mind that you don't always you won't always get customers. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're starting. Yes. So I know that it varies depending on which part of Nigeria you stay. But about how much should you be budgeting if you want to start like a, a middle class salon in Nigeria? Me, I don't know. If but here in Abuja, I can always speak for Abuja. Uh -huh. Because I know like the range of um, shop rent and other things. So the prices. Shop range. shop rent, you can... Or like an average room, like this size, like a room size. I think you should, you should budget about 100,000. From hundred, can you get for hundred thousand? You can actually get for hundred thousand, depending on the location. You can get for hundred thousand. You can get for one fifty, depending on the location. You see, hundred one fifty. You should be like inside one lungu, not inside the town. Not for Tarkot, even inside the lungu, you're not getting hundred thousand. Yeah, you can get in Abuja. I know places where you can get hundred one fifty. I know places like that. Here, this is my friend's shop. This place is two hundred, and there's water. That's the most I like. That's one thing I like about this place. There's water, and it's two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Why my 
my salon and guys i closed my salon i'm going to make like a video on that i will tell you guys the reasons and everything so my former salon or my previous salon no water no lights because i'm always using my gen and then i always have to buy like mirror for that's for the water aspect mm -hmm. and i pay and the space was very small like very very small and i, I was paying about three hundred thousand yeah about them there are seriously a lot of things you have to put into consideration if you're in portal court you consider thugs not just thugs, you have these people like tax force that go around to stop they do that here too but that's just five from uh, five thousand dollars you pay five thousand portal court don't have just one group okay you have to pay everybody mm -hmm. they will harass you in my former salon i used to suffer from that but this recent one mm -hmm. they don't come around so you have to ask other like businesses around oh, but really? when you're doing your survey you have to find out because those people can frustrate you everything you're working they are Especially if you cannot fight. Really? I, I, I didn't know. That. But here, it's just one specific people. Once you pay them, they are 5,000 there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we have two groups. There's one advert, that's for the... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, all these advert. Yeah, those ones, those ones is 10,000. Then why the tax force, then they are 5,000. Once you can pay them, they are 15k to stop the stuff. We have sanitation. We yeah. have projection. If you have something extending outside your store, you yeah. have to pay. You have to pay, right? They will pay for sanitation. They will carry one basket, a plastic basket for mm. 5,000 there and you must buy. Then they will carry every those in again every year. They will carry those you must, again. Even if you, you buy, must pay five thousand. They'll tell you this one is outdated. <coughs> they have ah. different. Every year has its own label. Ah. A sticker. Ah. So you. For that cost, Jesus. That cost. <laughs> okay, now what about a high end salon? Ah, in Abuja, in Abuja you should be budgeting like you should have up to a one point above because you pay for shop rent. Let's say in Vanex now, I think their shop rent is from seven hundred thousand naira above. So shop rent and your salon equipment. Do they pay for security? Yes, you pay for security and other charges too. Light and uh, every other thing. I think you should have like a one point something million to have to own a salon in town. That's in the yeah, the heart of Abuja in town. So for reference, unless those group salons like maybe A, B and C. Mm -hmm. Middle class would be like B, then A and C. Mm -hmm. So where does your salon fall in? Who? Oh, your salon. My salon. I don't know. It should be like B. Higher B. Uh, like higher B. Uh, I think I can represent like lower B. You yeah, lower B? Yeah. I think mine should be like B. Higher A. a. No. Not A. You don't charge like A. No. no. Let's say that's most most likely. Mm -hmm. Like for the general salons in Nigeria, most of us are most of them are like middle class yeah. salons. So I want to get your price range for like because I have this challenge to where I work. Mm -hmm. I just choose my price range that stick to it. Mm -hmm. But you will have unions here. Nope. There was a time they were creating a union so that everybody would be pricing the same. Mm -hmm. But I didn't attend the meeting. <laughs> and you cannot work now. I did not attend the So what's your, your washing, your wash and setting? No, wash and blow dry. Blow dry. Um, I think I charge wash and blow dry, let's say 500. 500, 600. We generate 600. Then with that generator, we light 500. Oh, the same thing with mine. Okay. In Porta Court. Mm, okay. Same price, right? Yes, we're touching. Retouching, I charge about 800. Okay, sometimes I, I charge 700. Oh, 700. I charge 800 with generator. I think with lights, I charge 700. Mm. <coughs> okay, the same thing then. Oh, what about braiding for wig? Uh, like all back. All back with people that just want to braid their hair so that they can get their wig. Like oh, nice, okay. braid, nice braids. Okay, I wig. charge 500. Sometimes I charge 1000. It just depends. So I'll be jumping for price is close. Because okay. that's what I charge too. But if it's in town, in Wuse, it's one thousand one five four normal women. Just the women. Just the women. One thousand in middle class salons. Yes. So it has to do with the location. It has to do with the location. Uh, but around here, you can't even charge them below. You can't charge them above one thousand. Even that one thousand, they will drag it with you. Ah, they will fight with you. Important because I don't think it's about location. Okay. It depends on the packaging of. If I have, I can have a salon next to me. I'll be making that braid for two thousand mm -hmm. because of the level of packaging that they have. Oh, really? Yes. There's nothing like that. They don't even care about the expertise. But other people don't care about how well you can make it. Just make that place nice oh, so good. that they can take pictures there and be like, I make my hair. So so so. so. Mm, Epizi. <laughs> Epizi and packaging is very important okay. in Porta So okay. that is something. Now what about like fixing? Fixing of hair. Normal fixing is one five. Just fixing all back. Mm -hmm. But if you want like a. Um, Designs or maybe like a difficult hairstyle. Mm -hmm. That's a this um, score cap. Yes, that's your very popular style. Right? Yeah, you know, so very no, popular style. you make that style a lot. Really? 
the bonding hairstyle. The bonding, the bonding. Right? You make it a lot now. Yeah. I've watched it like several times, several, several, several times. But how much do you charge for that? For that one, I charge, sometimes I charge 4K, 3,000, 5,000. It depends. Because you know, you need to get like the bandage that you use underneath. Mm -hmm. You get a cap, you use. Then the bonding glue itself. Do. You know, that one is another money. Then the time to trim it. Sometimes 5,000, sometimes 6 cases. Eh? It just depends on the style. There are some people that will come for like a very simple, short hair. Mm -hmm. That's that, um, what is it called? That bonding style. A short one that will not be very full. The ones that are not really full, I think I charge like 3,000, 4,000. But if it's full and stylish, it's four, it's four five, six thousand. It just depends on the style. Hmm. Okay, let's talk about workers, like people that work for you. Mm -hmm. How do you even get them? How do you source for workers? I just post, like if I post, I post around here and also post in front of my salon and then probably post around church areas. Okay. So that okay. after service, okay. they are coming out, most of them, they used to for. You know, sometimes it's when you are into trouble, you go to church. <laughs> <laughs> if you are looking for work, you won't get it. When you come, it will be as simple as just answered your prayer, presented an opportunity. Yes. I've never thought of uh, So I post it around church, I post it around schools. For those ones that have graduated that year and they know a little bit about styling, mm. uh, so they just look for work. Uh, this is a nice tip because uh, so I just advertise in front of my salon, that's so. No wonder it's very difficult for me to get it. Uh, advertise in front of your salon. Do you say apply in person or call this number? Just call this number. Apply in person call. Call this number. If you call, I answer you. Then I say come to my salon. If you come, then we start doing the interview. So what do you ask? Yeah. Can you braid? Can you? How much you pay? Does it depend on what they can do? Yes, it actually depends on what you can do. So the popular way of payment in Nigeria is what can share or salary. Which one do you? <laughs> For me, oh, I prefer to pay because I film YouTube videos. So that's why I prefer to pay. That's my reason. Like if my stylist is making somebody's hair, I can easily just mount my camera and then film without my stylist talking too much okay okay do you understand okay, uh -huh. okay but if it's work and share work and share she might want to you know talk anyhow so what, what so salary makes you have more control of your salary exactly what control puts even your um stylist what about when the work that they do it's not what at the end of the month it doesn't come up to what you have to pay them that's why i prefer to pay them because if we are not meeting targets physically, we meet it online. So what about people that are not making YouTube videos? Okay, for yeah, people, and I think they should do work and share. Work and share. Uh, should do work and share because work and share will make the person sit, make the person work on their feet. Like the person who always want to meet up targets. Mm -hmm. So work and share will be better. This is just my own tip because I'm a YouTuber, so I always have to create content, post content. So that's why I do it this way. Mm -hmm. So my way must not be your own way. It will pay you more. It will help you meet target of paying your shop rent, especially, mm -hmm. most especially mm -hmm. shop rent. So what kind of agreements do you have with workers? I don't have much agreements. So there's no legal signing anything? Okay, yeah, there's legal signing. Like, you, you bring a guarantor. Yes, you bring a guarantor because I'll you know, hand over my key to you now. You'll okay, be calling everybody. You yes, your guarantor will have to come here, come here, sign um, with ID card. Do you know, like, you know, I didn't know that. Really? My stylist will have to wait. Or oh, I'll like have to like rush and go to work and open up so that they can clean. I didn't even think about no, giving you anybody a, my key. You get a guarantor. The person will bring a. If you like the person, not if you like, like if you now if you trust the person, the person should bring a guarantor. Then this guarantor will sign. After signing, the guarantor will drop ID card too. Mm -hmm. Yes, you drop. Ah, is your business? Oh, I didn't. Think you drop ID card. So you, in case of anything, you always call the guarantor. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can't find your stylist. You go and hold the guarantor quietly. So how long will somebody work for you before you be comfortable enough to give her the key to you? Um, probably a month. That's a nice one. Do you have requirements for the type of guarantor that you can show you? Uh, just, uh, government worker number one. The person must be a government worker. The person must be very close to you. Like the person must know you very well. Uh -huh. uh, okay. It cannot be a random okay. person. Yeah, Sometimes most people used to bring their pastor. So in case in case you can't find you go and meet pastor. <laughs> Quietly. I never knew this. I've really? been struggling with workers. I know this one I was. And I've never talked about this. I for sure. Thank God. Well. I, had no, I had no idea. I had no idea. I had no idea. I'll just put my sign on the front of my shoulder when you come. This how much I can pay you. Will you work for this amount? Uh, no. Or oh, yes. And then. Oh, God. I didn't know. And, and I still have to be rushing to work early, early morning to, to give the key. That's 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 like my first month of employing the person. Every morning, I'll be stressing myself. I'll work, I'll go very early, open, and then after one month or two, 
I'm giving you the key. I cannot come and kill myself. That's a nice one. Okay. Mm. So still on workers. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer having people that know the job more than you? People that I've already said that before in my previous video. If you have not seen that video, go and the watch. video she made with Joy, you need yeah, to watch that video. Maybe you link it so that they will see. You could trash people, you just scam and see. You trash a lot of questions people have. Really? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're just gisting, but people are saying a lot. But do you know that before I posted that video, I, I had to I had to dream, pray about it. <laughs> because <laughs> I was saying like I was going to be, make people feel bad about some certain things. People want to know me. You know, I also talked about. Yes, you know, I also talked about like my neighbor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you were still reluctant in the video mentioning. <laughs> so now looking at me, I was gossiping. <laughs> if you notice, know, but it's video. not much just now. In the video, I said please. I'm not gossiping. You are still holding back and just disclaimer, but that's what people want to know. So, so Joy said she doesn't want somebody that knows the work more than her. Me, whether you know the work more than me or you don't know the work more than me. I, I think I look into the person itself. Mm. If the person is willing to work, are you willing to work? And their vibe. Some people can work, but the kind of attitude. Attitude, will yes. Your son yeah. will just have this negative, especially if that's not how they will you still are be chasing. Normally. They will still be chasing the clients coming. My own is can you work? Can, do you have that zeal to work? Mm -hmm. Do you have that passion to work? Do you have the passion to learn? You see these things. I look into it. And then if I notice that you're that kind of person that. Don't really know how to make hair, but you you are willing to learn. to learn. Yes, so I implore you. Then I bring up my mind and teach you. I the teach worst you people have been trying to correct, and then they are from they don't to learn. Oh God, those but, ones are very difficult. Uh, you see, that's why Obasabi said I don't even employ Obasabi. <laughs> so I just employ anybody that is. I just see the person that the person is humble. Mm -hmm. Most times, some people have this camouflage attitude. Today they are humble. Tomorrow, they are in another <laughs> mood. <laughs> uh, so I just look at you. And then, in my mind, just told me employ this person, even if the person doesn't know how to make. Most have, you of ever, has, have you ever had like a, an experience where you were wrong? Where somebody looked at if she would be like the best stylist for you, and when the person starts working, it's like the opposite. Have you had that experience? I have, I have. Um, one lady like that, she, when she came at first, she was, I asked her to make hair because anytime I'm interviewing anybody, yeah. you must make hair. Okay, you do that. Yes, I do that. You must make, uh, how would I employ you without you making hair? You must make hair. I need to see your weaving, I need to see your fixing, how you handle um, needle and thread. Also, oh. that means if you can actually make hair. <coughs> That's if you can actually make that so, sewing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. How you handle it. I don't even need to allow you finish up. The way you handle it. You know, then I had apprentices. I had like about five to six or seven apprentices. That my was, That's why the team was just choking me. They were all coming every day. Wow. So I always pick one person, say, sit down, let this person make your hair. From there, I'll notice your the way you handle the scissors, the way you handle the needle, mm -hmm. the way you handle most of the things. And most of all these other stylists, they don't really know how to do like this closure sewing, mm -hmm. or probably like the frontal sewing. So like frontal closure sewing, I teach them. So when she started, the first day, she made um, one hair like that and I liked it. So I didn't ask her, I didn't ask her to make other hairs immediately because I was very tense, not really tense. Like no, I wanted to get a yes, yeah, yeah. I wanted to get a stylist then. I didn't have anybody then. I think I was just starting up that period. Okay, okay. And me too, I was not really exposed. Like I didn't know how to make hair like that. Mm -hmm. Because like I told you guys already. I didn't learn hairstyling from anywhere. I just opened my salon like that. Mm -hmm. So when she made the hair, I liked it. I employed her. Subsequently, clients were coming and she, if they asked her, can you make this hair? She would say, no. They asked her, can you make this? Sometimes she might even start off and not, she would not be asking me, I tell her, babe, how would they finish? <laughs> Two of you will not be looking very funny to your <laughs> So from there, I think oh. I, I had to just let her go because I, I employed another person. I always have to. I always like to have like about two people around me, two mm -hmm. stylists. So I played another person. The person was better than her, and she she was not ready to learn. Mm -hmm. So I had to let her go. I told her to go. That's a problem. They know Nigerian hairstylists as people that when you go to their salon and ask, can you do this hair? Yeah. Hairstyle that they cannot do, they will tell you yes. And when they not get half halfway, halfway, they'll be looking for half. That's the reputation they used to know everybody. Yeah. You could not be stranded <coughs> looking at yourself, yeah, looking yeah, at yeah, the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. And something else that you mentioned is that when you started, you didn't know how to do everything. So there are some people that might be discouraged from starting a salon because they feel like I cannot leave bread, I don't know how to do this. What would you advise those people? Uh, what you should do is to get a stylist that knows how to make most of the hairs that you don't know how to make. And then whenever the stylist is making that hair or that particular hair that you don't know how to make, you should be watching the stylist. You don't necessarily need to act like you don't know how to do it. <laughs> no, but seriously, you just be looking at the stylist and be behaving like you know how to do it, mm -hmm. and then you can go home and use your dummy 
your mannequin and practice. What if at that point you cannot, you can't afford to pay a stylist yet? So they can just go and intern in another salon for a short time and learn. Because I don't think you can cope if you don't know. Like if you want to start a loan and you can't afford to pay somebody, pay somebody then you need to learn. You, you need, need to really learn. You just you have to learn. learn because or even if you start first. You Especially when you can learn everything with a dummy and YouTube. Mm, like you, you don't have, have to learn. You Even with learn. the YouTube, so you, don't, you, you might not be able to learn everything on YouTube. For example, like this score cap. Mm. You know, up to today, anytime I upload a video about score cap, people oh always God. complain of big, laying it flat. Oh my God. Uh, they, so far, like, that problem. That hair is, has just never been my strength. They'll be like, how? They always ask me that question. How can I make the hair lay flat? And that kind of question, I've explained it like so many times, and so many people are still not getting it. So people like that, I think you just have to look for a salon close by and pay money and then mm -hmm. just. So learn you have it. to learn it from. There are things you have to learn from. Yes, from physically. Artists. Yes. Yeah. That's really physically. True. Even when I could make hair very, there are some people that like after rolling your hair, mm -hmm. the way they comb back the coils is really nice. Okay. But if you don't, if you don't learn that in on the job, I don't think you can ever do it well. I struggle with that a lot. Like how people pick out rollers, rollers they pick right. it and it will not be looking very fine. Some people are talented in, in that. that one. And I feel as if they learnt it on the job. It's just from doing it so many times that you now just know how to not mess up with the coils and it will look very fine. Mm -hmm. You do that for brighter hair too. I do that. But I didn't learn it. That's what I'm trying to explain. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to explain. I didn't learn it. I didn't learn all these things. Most of the things that I do, I did not learn. Even the brighter hair, I didn't I didn't learn it. And my style is then I was the one teaching them. I did not learn it. That padding, the way you formulate those, <laughs> those padding. Uh, did you just come up with that? No. When I see videos on Instagram, I see them looking that way. Uh -huh. I just think, I say, okay, I think they should be using something like this and like that to make, that it. To make it foam or come out this. That thing was like a sweet hack. I don't do bridal hair, but I was also happy. To no, but it's important for a stylist to know how to do bridal hair because that that's where you make money. more money. Yes. Every weekend you'll be cashing out like a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. and you, be, you know makeup artists, they cash out a lot. For one makeup. Mm -hmm. Makeup that they will clean the, in the night. No, but serious. Makeup that you clean in the night, you'll be paying 60,000. Some people collect 100,000. So you'll be cashing out, you do your bridal hair and you cash out like makeup artists. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very important for hair stylists to know how to do bridal hair. Like it's very, very important. Wow. Because this every day, you know, see now now I wash hair, 300 naira. <laughs> is it 300 naira this to pay shop rent? It's just that. So it's that, from so those weekend that's jobs. Money is. Yes, it's from the weekend jobs that you make your money and cover up for the day. Mm -hmm. I can be, I can sometimes in a week, I might not even have anybody, but weekend, I go and style somebody's hair, do the best makeup, and even cover up for like two months, self or three months. Mm -hmm. I, I know for that people are like, you know, make up uh, and hair, sharp sharp, you leave that place, I go and do that person's school, sharp sharp. Two, one hundred something thousand naira. Go even smiling. The next, in short, if you want self, you know. I don't know if this Abuja level, a bit like this level. No, it's like this. Uh, uh, go and meet Lagos people. Okay. 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 to learn how to style hair, I asked one, I asked one um, hairstylist, like Abuja, not Abuja hairstylist. I think. Okay, I asked Abuja hairstylist. I also asked Lagos hairstylist. Mm -hmm. Very good people. Like when it comes to the, what they do, that's mm -hmm. for the hair. Ordinary to learn. They were charging. They asked me to pay about one eighty thousand. And I was going to learn it for just two weeks. The other, was, person, what, one, the other person said one week. One week to learn 180,000. Just one week. To learn what? To learn bridal hairstyle. So just imagine that you, you know how to do all of that. Mm -hmm. And then you gather people around you. And people used to just ask me. I just tell them pay 50,000, 50,000. Come inside, madam. Lady, lady, come. They will like that. They will be like that. Go sit down. Happy New Year! <laughs> yeah, yes, so just imagine that you post your, let's say you advertise your, uh, this thing, your flyer everywhere and tell mm -hmm. people to pay 50-50k, like you are very good with I'm just giving you guys yeah, tips on how to make money <laughs> as a hairstylist. If you're not done like me, you're not be making only hair. Or... As a hairstylist. So just imagine that you just, you know, advertise your, yourself, like this guy come and blend brighter hair. Mm -hmm. Even if it's 20,000, if you get like about 20 people, do you know how much you need? Ah, serious, that's interesting. If I do do it online, do you know how much? And we have, 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 have so much tutorials that people. And you don't even need to go and learn somewhere, mm -hmm. just from watching your videos. Yeah, from Like if videos. I watch your videos now, you can do brighter makeup. Brighter hair. Maybe not. Brighter makeup. Hair. Brighter hair, right? Mm -hmm. You just practice. From my videos, I think you just practice. 
you have to keep practicing and by that way it's like magic by the time you just put the pad in and coil over it will now be like the, the transformation is very fast and mm. really really impressive and you make your money so how do you keep your salon going when you're not around when i'm not around mm -hmm. like when i travel yes when you have just workers i put it to the house of god <laughs> Is there no especially if you sell things, if you have things that you sell in your salon, no. how do you keep record? What I usually do is, um, we have a book, we call it shop book. Okay. We have sales book and shop book. Okay. So for the sales book is for those things that they make with their hands, that's of um, rendering services. Okay. That's for the sales book. Therefore, the shop book is for the products, what we say, the attachments, um, hair cream, and then other things. So we just list everything down and then the amount of So everything things. you have is recorded, everything you sell Yes, is exactly. Yeah. But With what the, about those small, small things that you just can't keep tab on? No, everything, including me. Everything. Every single thing, you write it down. Write the numbers. So if they sell anyone, they tick one. If they sell two, they tick two. And once they are uh, ticking it, they are writing the amount. Okay. Uh, let's say this is the list of the things. Then the numbers and then how much you are selling. Mm -hmm. So if you record, if you oh no, not how much you are selling each day, um, January first, January second, January third, January like that, like mm -hmm. that. First January two thousand and so so, second January two thousand and so so, like yeah, that, like that. that. So yeah. every day, let's say second January, you're able to sell one attachment, one wig on a particular wig on, let's say four flower, then one shampoo or something. Mm -hmm. So they record it down, one or two. You put it two, then total it, write it down. You say one, let's say one is five hundred, so two is one thousand. So you say two up, then one thousand. Total. So do you on have that do you have one person that manages that they, when they sell they submit the money to that person? Do you have one person? No. So when I was watching Jennifer's diary, mm -hmm. in that her salon, she has mm -hmm. one person that takes care of everything about the finance. And I felt as if it helps to prevent people from stealing. Like even if anybody sells, they will take the money to that person and Jennifer's diary is because she has like about plenty workers. That's why she was able to do it like that. If you have just two workers, there's no point. So when you come back, someone. everybody will give you their own record. No, everybody is one record. Is if this person is selling, this person already knows that this person is selling because both of them are in the show. Jennifer. Uh, do you they want to steal from you, they have to cooperate to do it. Uh, if they want to steal, that means they join something. Uh, if they are stealing from me, that means it's joint. So when you come back from your journey, you now take like an inventory and check everything. And check everything. And most times what I do is, I snap. Just okay. in case I forget. Okay. I just take pictures before I travel. Okay. So even if they want to steal, eh, I go back with my phone and check how many did we send previously before easier. I travel. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I just cross-check cross -check their own like that. Hmm. I thought they want to steal to be difficult. The only way they steal from me is rendering services. Mm. The services they are actually rendering, they might probably be stealing from me and I don't know. But that one comes to backfire because when you come back, like when I'm back, my customers will be like, oh, I came that last time to wash my hair, we're not around. Mm -hmm. And then you check your record and you know this. So I have a, a lot of questions about relocating. Since you're in the process, I think oh, we just, if you want like, to know, everybody mm. should just hold on. So you're going to give us like you take us along from when you get the place. Yes. You do a tour place. before you innovate. You let yes. us know the kind every of innovation. Thing, every thing. single thing. Can't wait for that video. Every single thing. Right now, I want to give you guys tips on how to grow your business. Okay. For your clients, if you are starting up, any customer or any client that comes in, mm -hmm. always take the person's number mm -hmm. and the person's name. Mm -hmm. If possible, try to know the person's birthday. Oh. So okay. on their birthday, you send them message. Uh -huh. Then every month, you send all of them like a book message. It doesn't cost much. You do that. Ah, yes, yes, I do that. Highest, ah, probably maybe like 200 naira, 100 naira for book messages. Every month you send them book message, say, Happy New Month, um, this is Susan so Salon, hoping to see you this month. That's nice, and I don't do it. Yeah, I do it. Oh, I forgot favorite products. What are your favorite shampoo to use? Maybe we'll do this, we'll divide this video into two because can. so many that would be questions. Nice. Uh, so the ending part will be on my channel, yeah, probably. Yeah, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, your favorite product, shampoo. Sham for shampoo, it just depends. Some customers come with their own shampoo. Yeah, many people come with that. So if you want to recommend like an affordable one to a customer, which one do you take? Affordable BO5 is what? BO5. Okay. For affordable one, I recommend I think olive. But what I use in my salon is the random one. Um, I get them from the market. They sell it in four liters. I don't even know the name. 
guys, see our surprise. In Kotako, we just know petals and like soulmates, like the very popular brands. Whenever I see any unlabeled or branded one, yeah. I'm just skeptical. So now I'm just finding out. If you can use them, they are good. Yes, they are very, so, very good. And they save costs as well. Yes, yes. So I don't even know the name. I think it's just an individual stuff. They mix it. I can also do like a shampoo, but I don't have time. So I trust those shampoos that I get from them. And so, and it's cheaper. So that's what I use. I don't know their name. Yeah, so I bought the shampoo and the conditioner. Okay. But if the client wants a particular one, mm -hmm. I can just get or use olive for them okay. if they actually want a particular one. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about Oishin? Which Oishin. one do you like to use? I use any one. But I prefer ultra set. Ultra set is nicer than many others. I use any one. You don't like the smell. It smells like when I, whenever I use it for my customers, they like it. I use any one. What about spray gel? If you say the container, I think it should be ultra one. too. Okay, the purple one. Yeah, yes. Okay. I know you use it. Yes. yes. About the purple yeah. one. Yeah. That's the one I use. What about Nigerian hair cream? I like so so made. Why do people like so made? I like so made, but if I cannot find so made, I use so fine. Hmm. See, if you notice. I have so fine gel. So I saw you using so gel. gel. Yes, yes it's also here. So many people have been asking me, I don't know if I can show you guys. Uh, my friend likes to use so fine gel. I never, I just felt these people, they are just packaging fine things to the same food. <laughs> and and I've never, I myself, I've never used it though. I just met her using it and I filmed it up. Uh, and it came out very fine. I've never used I've never even said it was. I've never seen it here. I'll read it. I've, I've had it for sale for a long time, but I don't use it. And I don't even recommend it to my customers. I like. Okay. I'll say I've not used it. I don't really know how it is. But it looks fine. You know, it's attractive with those different colors. Yes, yes, yes. yes so yes, at least yes. now we can use it. Mm. Uh, so what else? For bonding. Bonding. I like to use the lanel. But my friend said the other one is better. There are two. There are two here in Nigeria. Lanel is it? Popular one every year. That I can't remember the name. Uh, uh, but she so said that, that one, one is good. To me, she said it's better. Yes, and she used it, and I liked it. It came out very fine. Okay, she gave me a trick. She said I should not say it out, but I'm going to say it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it out. So usually, if I'm making a bonding like um, all those four caps, mm -hmm. I like to use spray gel and lanel glue specifically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when I came here, my friend used that other one without a spray gel. And it glued very well and it was so small. fine. It glued immediately. All like lanel and the spray gel, if you glue it, it will yes. be moving around. Yes, that was glued it. immediately. So how she did it was she applies the glue on the weft of the hair. Uh -huh. After applying it, she keeps she, she just kept it a little oh, while for oh, it to get tacky, like, like tacky. lashes. Yes, just like lashes. Then she now starts placing it immediately like that. So I learned that from this place. And I'm hoping that she comes back on time so that she'll teach me more. See tips that you never know. Mm.